Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new SBC Freeze Alwar car to review today. So we're taking a look at a car that is five foot nine with high medium work rates, right footed, four star skill with a four star weak foot. Um, in regards to player traits, he does have the finesse shot trait as well as the outside foot shot trait. If we take a look at his in games, he's got 89 acceleration with 85 sprint speed. Uh, Okay, so pace is that, shooting stats are that. Uh, so he's a card you mostly use in the cam position, probably, with maybe an engine chemistry style? We'll see what's up, but base card stats for shooting is at 92 attacking positioning with 89 finishing, 86 shot power, 88 long shots with 86 composure. So base card stats for shooting is pretty good. Um, it would be nice if we can improve it as much as possible. We're going we're gonna to be taking a look at that in-game, obviously. Uh, base card stats for passing on the card looks great as well. Don't necessarily need to improve that. The dribbling is going to be interesting to try out because of the fact that he is a five foot nine player. Uh, like I said, guys, I do mostly see this card being used in the cam position because I'm taking a look at his stamina, his work rates, and all that kind of stuff. If they gave him a little bit of defensive stats, he would have he would have made a really good center mid actually on that high medium work rate. Uh, but it definitely looks like you would mostly have to use a card like this in the attacking areas, mostly in the cam position, right? So um, the first chemistry style that I'm thinking of is either a Hawk chemistry style, an engine chemistry style, a hunter chemistry style. Uh, there's a few different ones that I'm personally thinking of, right? So if we take a look uh, on Footpin, people are either giving him the Hunter, the Engine, the Shadow. Uh, for me personally, I think I'd want to give him the Engine. Yeah, I think I'd give him the Engine because I'd want to boost his... I'd want to boost his like dribbling as much as possible as well as his pace and his passing because if he's going to be playing in the cam spot... 89 finishing and 86 shot power is decent because I feel like if you give him a hunter chemistry style, the pace boost is definitely very nice as well as the shooting boost, but the dribbling may not feel up to par. But he is a five foot nine player with a lean body type. So you know what? For the sake of the review, I do need to try him out with the hunter chemistry style because I need to see if his dribbling capabilities is good enough, right? So we're gonna go ahead and buy the hunter chemistry style afterwards for that boost, but it's the shooting boost and the pace boost that I'm looking at mostly over here, right? So um, yeah, people are either giving him hunter, engine, or a shadow. Shadow wouldn't make much sense because his base card stats for defending is already really low. So it's definitely an option because you could even give him a hawk, right? Give him some extra physical stats as well as shooting as well as pace. Um, which would also be very nice. But remember, he is a five foot nine player, so boosting his physical may not be that relevant, but boosting his pace may be more relevant. He's an 84 stamina player with high medium work rates and 97 attacking positioning with the Hunter chemistry style. So I think that would actually work out better. The biggest thing that you have to test out is the lean body type with base card stats for dribbling and whether or not an engine chemistry style uh, could potentially help that out in game. But for the sake of the review, we were going to be lined up like this. We're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 uh, because that's the formation I feel like uh, I want to use mostly with him. Actually, we can use him in the 3-5-2 as well. Use these on balanced and then use him in the cam spot. Yeah. And then I have to switch. I have to switch out this Lala card because that's the lone version of the card. Uh, but yeah, we're going to we're going to try him on the cam position. Uh, let's see here. So I have. I have Anzu Fati, I have Ikone. We'll put Ikone in the team for now and switch him with Jelson. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try out Alwar in the cam position in the 3-5-2 for basic instructions. And we'll see how he plays there. I'm just going to switch that with Molette and then switch to Pi with Molette there. And have Alwar in the cam position with the stay forward instructions. So yeah, I'm going to go buy the Hunter chemistry style. We'll see how he plays in game. Okay, so let's switch to the 3-5-2 right away. And... Uh, We'll see how he plays, man. Let's see what the dribbling is like. Uh, I think the dribbling is perfectly fine, to be honest. With the Hunter chemistry style, it might make the most sense. You do feel it, obviously, not being super responsive, but, um, you know, it's perfectly fine. A little bit of aggressiveness over there, but then kind of comes back to offer his support in that cam spot. Like I said, I said, guys, I do mostly see this card being used in the cam position. You could definitely rotate him into the center mid as your attacking oriented one for sure. But um, I definitely mostly see him in that cam spot. We'll see what's up, though. Mm, not aggressive into that space right there. Depay was, though. 
Oh, I try to force that run out of him right there to get that goal scoring opportunity. Nicely done. At least Alwar was well positioned to uh, pass that ball off. He's not an aggressive oriented cam, guys. Like when I uh, reviewed Forsberg's card, for instance, like back in the day, Forsberg definitely loves to aggressively run across the pitch. Alwar is definitely not aggressive oriented in the cam position based off of base characteristics. You could definitely force it out of him if you change your tactics a little bit. But for base characteristics, it's not really like his thing, you know? Oh, I put way too much power behind that strike with Memphis. That sucks. I forced a run there with Alwar to see if I can do anything with that, but... I think for fun, guys, um, I would probably use him in the center mid position with how he's performing in-game. Because, you know, I've used, like, a Talishka card, like that Rule Breakers one in center mid, and he was... He was pretty decent there. Um, I think for Alwar, it'd be very similar. You can see that he's not aggressive when it comes to, like, those empty spaces. Which is fine, it's just the type of cam that he is if you play him there. Um, he does mostly feel like a center mid. I do feel like they should give these cards defensive stats so that you can utilize them in the center mid position more, you know? Um, I kind of want to switch the formation right now. In the cam position, he's definitely usable there. Um, it's obvious that he's not aggressive. His dribbling is okay, but you definitely feel it not being super responsive either. Let me switch to the 4-3-3. I want to try him in that center mid role right here. Yeah, and then we'll have Jelson Martins where Kone is. And then we'll have Awar in the right center mid position. Let's try him out there. I feel like EA really misses the ball with these uh, these types of players, though, because if they actually kept their defensive stats, they would be really, really cool cards to get. I feel like they're too generic when they don't give them the defensive stats to have them in that camp spot. Like, if his dribbling is not up to par as a striker and I can move him to a center mid position, um, it would be really cool. There we go. Akone makes that run right there. I actually forced the run there with Awar to disguise uh, the pass that I can make through the middle over there. And it actually worked out really nicely. Nice. First time strike. That was a really good pass with Awar. Yeah, if I'm going to use him for fun on my team, guys, it's such a shame they, do, they don't give him the defensive stats. Um, if I were to use him for fun on my team, it would mostly be that center mid roll for sure, man. He's usable if you use him as a striker, and you, you can use him in the cam position if, for the usable concept, but um, for you to fully utilize a card like this, I feel like it has to be that center mid roll, you know? Lovely stuff there with Akone again playing that center mid roll. I really hope they don't screw up his future card because Akone could be really nice in this game. Okay, aggressive right there, which is fine. That's exactly what I expect. So he plays to his high medium work rates well when he's playing that center mid role. Cammy's a little bit more conservative for base instructions. Again, you can force the aggressiveness out of him, out of him with uh, specific tactics. I'm going to make this pass right here. Touch. Ball roll. Pretend like I'm going to shoot. Goalkeeper comes out of nowhere. So he pulls out his goalkeeper. He has a defender at the same time. If I shoot that ball, it's not really going to consistently go in. But you can see, guys, that this is definitely the best position to use a card like this because... Four star, four star in that center mid role is definitely very fun, so. Nice little switch there with Awar. Might be able to score a goal scoring opportunity here if anyone makes this run in the middle. There we go. Make that pass. One more. Take it out a little bit. There we go. First time. Touch. Finesse. With his weak foe, he scored that opportunity. Nicely done. I mean, guys, like I said, the high medium work rates works perfectly fine for him if you want to use him in that center mid role. I feel like if you want to use him in center mid, it would probably be more ideal to actually give him the engine chemistry style, if anything. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Awar card. So with Awar playing in the cam position, a hunter chemistry style is not necessarily a bad thing to give him. Um, in regards to the pace boost that you give him, as well as the shooting boost that you give him. 
In my opinion, I actually feel like this card makes more sense with an engine chemistry style. Now, the reason being for this is because if you want to be able to rotate this card between the center cam position as well as the center mid position, this will be a fun card to have in your team. Like I said in previous videos, I feel like EA misses the ball a little bit with the defensive stats of these cards because they gave them defensive stats. Even if it was like a 72 or a 73, they would actually make very good cams and, and center mids because they actually have a little bit of a defensive presence playing in that midfield position. But for me personally, guys, if you guys are going to use this player in your squads, he's actually really fun to use playing that center mid role. And I feel like he'd play it even better if you were to slap him with an engine chemistry style, right? Engine chemistry style definitely for me makes the most sense because imagine someone with high medium work rates, 84 stamina being your aggressive oriented midfielder, right? With a pace boost, a dribbling boost, and a passing boost as well, while having some pretty decent shooting characteristics, right? Like he has... 86 shot power with 89 finishing and 92 attacking positioning. So the way that he attacks empty space in the center mid role is way better than the way that he does it in the cam position. Like I said, Forsberg is an aggressive attacker. Awar doesn't really feel that way, right? But he does when he is playing in that original position of his, which I think is actually center mid on his rare gold as well. So um, again, I do feel like EA missed the ball a little bit with defense because he would have made a really good center mid if he had a defensive stats. But I still feel like that's his best position to play because I felt like my build-up play with him on that right center mid position definitely felt significantly better than me playing in the cam spot. Cam spot, he felt very, very generic for me. So if you guys unlock this card, play him in the center mid role, but it is still a disappointing card because I wish they gave him the defensive stats. But if you want to work with some links in your squad and use a very natural oriented center mid in your squad playing a 4-3-3 like we use for the fast build-up, He'll be a fun card to use in that position. But that is going to conclude the video for today, guys. Um, we have some other players today. I don't know if I'm going to get the review for them, but we're going to see uh, what's up later today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.